Three. I really didn't want to bust this shit up, but anyway, I just wanted to show you all this before I have fucking dealt with it. Here's my fucking blow-off valve, brand new out the box, and as you can see, they did not drill the fucking holes all the way through. Isn't, isn't that some shit? But this is that stuff, that Chinese stuff, you know. Okay. On focus. All right. So, we've got the intercooler in. Got the up pipe going to the, the engine in. You do have to modify the fan shroud just a little bit. You might be able to see it there. Just get a little bit of clearance. But all that seems to be fitting good. It didn't fit like super, super great, but it definitely fits. There's the intercooler in there. And that's how I got the brackets. So it's all nice and up in there. Back to intercooler piping and stuff. Uh, I wound up using a piece of exhaust pipe, two and a half inch, to make the connection here from the down pipe. Stupid sun. Uh, coming down. As it comes down through there, I had to zip tie it to the AC lines. But essentially the stuff that the kit came with just wasn't going to do it. So, at any rate, they don't give instructions, so I might have screwed the pooch on this, but it's all run nice and neat, and it's all up at least as high as the frame is. That one spot right there, it kind of comes down low. That bugs me a little bit. But we'll see. See how it goes. Okay, and on to things that will need to be modified. You're going to have to widen this hole out right here uh, because, you know, the bend is right above the fucking bolt. You can't get the bolt in there, so you need to wall it a hole a little bit so the bolt can actually slide up and through. Uh, the other problem I'm having right now is, again, due to Chinese bullshit, this one bolt hole is slightly off, so I've got to wall this hole out a little bit so I can get the bolt started in there. All right, so I got the down pipe on there. It was an absolute motherfucker. The bolt holes generally or don't line up all that good and the pipe fits awfully tight. Uh, let's pick it up and look and see what it looks like from underneath. All right, now we got the pipe there. All that stuff looks okay. Looks like it's clearing everything down here pretty good. So it's not the most god awful thing in the world, but it damn sure wasn't fun. All right, to show everybody, I repositioned my converter. As you can see, those are my MIG welds. That's the ugly ass TIG weld that the shit came with. Again, that's a butt weld, but still better than that. Just saying, my opinion. Like that one right there, nice and smooth. Yeah, the same thing back here. Shit, where the hell is it? There we go. Same thing. I think my MIG, MIG welds look better than their TIGs. Okay, so, so far, we're here at the end of day one. And when I say day one, I mean a full eight hour day here at the shop. I got the coolant hooked up, I got all the oil stuff, everything's physically bolted on. Tomorrow I got to wire the gauge pod and install the mega squirt. But all the exhaust, everything else is all on there. Turbo's in there, lines are run, oil feed's done. Yada, 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 yada. All right, wish me luck for tomorrow.